Participating in pro bono activities has been a very satisfying experience for me as a lawyer. Um, in the work that I do, I generally represent corporate clients. I love my corporate clients. I wouldn't give them up for the world, but I think that you get a different feeling when you help an individual, especially one that really needs your help. I have been so lucky that Armstrong Teasdale has supported me through every step of the way. Our firm has always been focused on pro bono and it's one of our core values that is giving back to the community. Amy leads as an example to everybody in this firm. She's so passionate about what she does and her involvement in representing abused women. The thing that influenced me to do pro bono in the area of domestic violence was an incident that I witnessed while I was in college. I was in the cafeteria and saw a man enter and just badly beat a woman who was working behind the counter. And, you know, I kind of swooped in and tried to help after the police had arrived, and she didn't want it. She felt like what I had done was going to make things worse for her. And I just felt that if you could help that person, then you've really done something. Mary Beck was uh, my law professor at the University of Missouri. She directs the Family Violence Clinic there. And she has probably been the person who's most influential in encouraging me to do domestic violence work. She is a tireless, fearless, and adventurous advocate for pro bono cases. Nina Balsam was involved in the Clemency Project at the very beginning. She has been a huge cheerleader throughout the process. I started working with Amy when I was at the Missouri Coalition Against Domestic Violence and we put together the Clemency Project. Amy's had a tremendous impact on the Clemency Project. She's basically been responsible for four women being released from prison and they probably would have had to spend the rest of their lives in prison. Vicki Williams had served a very long sentence for killing her abuser back in the 70s and there had been significant efforts to try to get her out of prison that had all been unsuccessful at that point. The abuse in her situation was horrible, shocking, and it had never been heard by a jury. To me, she moved mountains. Um, we did a clemency. We had no luck. We ended up working on changing laws, and then she still had to fight the parole board to get me out. If young lawyers could look at my story and see that it's possible to have a private law practice and to still do something for public interest that's significant and meaningful, I would like that. If we had more Amy's in the world, we might be able to achieve and changing and making things better. But her alone, she does the best she can. And I don't see her stopping anytime soon. <laughs>